You can get this for less than 300 bucks. What's up guys, my name is Charles and welcome back to my cycling YouTube channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit the subscribe button for more cycling content. So I've always wanted an oversized pulley wheel, also known as OSPW, because man, they look just so good. I don't really care about the watt saving overall, I just think that is a bit of a marketing gimmick, but aesthetic wise, whew, those are hot. In today's video, I will go over this product from Nova Ride. I will mount it on my bike and give you guys some feedback and share a sweet discount at the end. Oversized pulleys. We see them a lot on the world tour or on some dentist bikes out there and I kind of like them. So why didn't I order one before? I've had a deep look at Ceramic Speed 1, but for the 500 USD price tag, I thought it was a little bit too much. So I never pulled the trigger ordering one. I've read all their watt saving claims and yes, it does make sense at some point that you are saving some watts. To sum it up, there are two advantages of an OSPW. A bigger radius around the jockey wheels means for a smoother transition resulting in reducing friction. And ceramic bearings inside, well, it just also reduces the friction so it moves more freely. But the research shows that uh, you can save from 4 to 6 watts by simply adding this oversized pulley wheel system to your bike. I know four watts can make a big difference, but at a $500 price tag for the Ceramic Speed, I think there's a way better watt saving tips out there for less money, such as riding more aero, slamming your stem, ride shorter cranks, tighter kits, aero helmet, and more. But for aesthetics, that depends on who you are. If you are like me and love taking photos of your bike, you love to ride a clean looking, fast looking bike, well, OSPW are a great upgrade. So now let's talk about this one, the Nova Ride Oversized Pulley Wheel. Carbon fiber derailleur with ceramic bearings, and this is not more expensive, it's not the same price, it's about 50% cheaper than the Ceramic Speed one. Starting at 200 euros or 240 USD, now that's a really interesting upgrade. Nova Ride is a French company, so allez les bleus! Uh, they sent this for a review, so thank you guys. Available in both Shimano R Series, Ultra and Dura Ace, or SRAM Axis Red and Force, they pretty much cover all high end bikes. What is cool about their oversized pulley wheel is that there's five colors available and maybe more coming in the future. I've picked blue because you saw my bike, I think it will look for a perfect color match. Four year warranty and a crash replacement program, which offers you a 50% discount on a new one in case something bad happened which is pretty sweet. The build quality look on point so far at the first glance. So now I will mount it on my bike. I have no idea if I will be able to. I'm not a bike mechanic, but I do understand some of the basics. All right, let's go. Okay guys, so we are about half an hour later than uh, the, the shots you saw. I had some problems with the derailleur because, so when you need to do like this backflip behind, um, you need to like be out of the derailleur a little bit. And the spring tension was really hard for me to, to have it align and come back inside of this it's hole. I don't know if it's really clear, but anyways, I got it. Now that uh, I've done the flip from the derailleur from here to this way, and then I pushed it in, and with some luck and some strength, I, I got it, I put back the lock screw, and now I have a really uh, nice looking derailleur. The tension looks really good for me here. Just time to put the chain again and go for a ride.
Alright, so my chain might be a little bit too small. As you see here, the, the hanger doesn't go all the way back as it should when it's on the 11 feet. My first thoughts on them is I don't see any difference. <laughs> That's a good news because if it was uh, impacting the shifting speed, accuracy of the gear, then I would probably go back. But so far, I did not see any issues. It works just as it's intended to and it definitely adds some style points over here. So pretty stoked on that. Uh, what I'm not stoked on is the racetrack is so wet that it's not really fun so I might go somewhere else to ride. I'm supposed to do like uh, about an hour and 15 of uh, Bayes Zone 2 riding so I'm gonna go do that right now. Go back to home, gotta need to clean the bike because it's so dirty outside right now. I so wet! I understand why no one is there though. The weather is beautiful, it's not too cold today and comfortable right now. Uh, but the track is way too wet, I might have to go somewhere else. All right, first ride with the Nova oversized pulley wheel and so far it responded just as I expected. So the shifting was fast, the shifting was accurate. I tried on low load and high load, so I was standing while changing gears and it responded just like the regular Shimano hanger. Did I see something in the watts difference? Not at all, that'd be silly for me to tell you that I felt those watts difference, but what I can see with my eyes is that it do looks a lot better. For myself, that blue jockey wheel just looks so good with my blue bike. So will I keep riding this OSPW? I will. Until I have problems, I am just gonna keep it on my bike because it feels really good. Not feels good, it feels just the same, but because I feel good knowing my bike looks better. So you get the point. Today, I did not replace my chain. Uh, I do not recommend that you ride a chain that is too short because it will load the spring of the derailleur a lot more than it should and will degrade its quality a lot faster than a regular uh, chain size would get you. So definitely get the sizing of your chain right. Uh, for myself, it's something that's coming next week, so I will put that on as soon as I get it. For those who are interested in getting your hands on this oversized pulley wheel, as always, you, I hooked you guys up with a 10% discount. It's Charles Wim at 10 as usual. The links will be in the description down below for you to check it out. Yeah, that sums it up pretty much. Maybe early next season, once I'll maybe do a thousand kilometer on this pulley system, I will do a proper review. Today is not really a review, it's more of an overview of the product because I haven't read it yet enough to give you guys honest feedback on it. So if you wanna get your hands on it right now, feel free to, but you don't have my blessing that it worked for me for at least 1000 kilometer. That's it. If you enjoyed, please leave a thumbs up. It's always really appreciated. Subscribe if you aren't already. I have a lot more cycling content coming in the next few weeks that you don't want to miss out. All right, my name is Charles and I'll see you guys on the road or into the next video. Peace.